Hey guys, Stephanie here with a product review. In this video, I'm going to share my thoughts and my personal experiences using the Juvia's Place Stick Foundations and their I Am Magic Concealer. If you're interested in seeing my first impressions, you can check out the other video that I have where I actually do a live demo showing you how I apply the products to my face. So go ahead and check that video out and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me. So here are my final thoughts about the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer and their stick foundations. I use the color Benin and Katsina in their stick foundations and I also use the concealer in the number 12. Just a disclaimer, I am not, I am not a makeup artist, I'm not a makeup guru, I don't know everything about makeup, this is just my personal thoughts and opinions as a woman who wears makeup. So I just want to put that out there, I'm not a professional, this is just how it works for me and my skin, and that's on period. So overall, both products have their pros and cons, but I can say I did like the concealer. The concealer is great, but I will not be buying the stick foundation ever again. I actually want to return it, but the Juvia's Place website does not accept returns, so I'm stuck with it. Um, I, I just, the stick foundation is not for me. It didn't work for me in my skin, and I've, I've tried stick foundation before and I had the same issue, so I just know overall stick foundations just don't work well for my skin. Um, I do like using the stick as a contour because it gives me good control. So I, I do like that, but as an overall face foundation, nah, nah, sway, nah. So here are my pros and cons for the stick foundation. I like the coverage. The coverage is very, very nice. It is buildable, but a little bit goes a long way. Like the, the foundation really did cover all of my hyperpigmentation and the creamy consistency really makes it easy for the product to blend out so like when you put it on your face you can just brush it out easily and it spreads throughout your face so I do like that I like the, cons the consistency and I like the coverage although I do like the creamy consistency I don't like how greasy it makes my skin feel um, it just it, it's shiny and if you watch my first impressions video you'll see like I was a grease ball like literally it was a mess you have to use a, a powder this is not a matte foundation you have to use a powder and I just I don't like that <laughs> I have like combination oily more on the oily side of skin when I use foundation so I get shiny very easily so I don't want to be shiny right when I put the foundation on. Like I want to be matte for a little bit and then eventually become shiny, you feel me? So I just, I don't like that. And even though the foundation is lightweight, it does feel like something is on my face. Like shea butter is one of the ingredients, so it kind of feels like shea butter. Like if you ever put shea butter in your face, I know what that feels like and that is exactly what I'm feeling. I feel like I have a, a very thin layer of shea butter on my face and it's not that bad but I, it's just I, I, I'd rather not I'd rather not and even now I've had this foundation on for maybe like two hours um, maybe three two or three hours I've had this foundation on and I am getting a little shiny so you know I just I don't I don't like being shiny that's my biggest problem I also don't like how the foundation seems to settle into lines and creases. Um, like I have some smile lines, I never really noticed that being an issue with other foundations, but I did notice that the foundation does kind of settle into lines and I don't have that many on my face, thank God for being young, but <laughs> that's just something I noticed and that may be an issue for other people. Um, and it does transfer, the foundation transfers really bad without powder. Like. I'm telling you, watch my first impressions video. Could have rubbed my whole face off with my hand. Like, it transfers really, really bad. But when you set it with powder, it doesn't seem to transfer as bad. But still, like, I wore it all day, and you can start to see your blemishes come out throughout the day. Granted, I did have a mask on, so that probably did rub 
a lot of the foundation off but just after wearing it for a full day I didn't like how my face looked so overall the foundation does create a very flawless very like vibrant glowy full face like the coverage is incredible the shade range is great I actually ordered this online and the shade matches my skin pretty pretty perfectly like pretty pretty perfectly it's it's nearly an exact match so the foundation shade range is really really nice it's just the foundation is not something I would see myself going for every day moving on to the concealers I really 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 like the concealer it is very like thick but it's blendable again just like the foundation is very blendable and a little bit goes a long way you can highlight your entire face with just one dip into the tube the concealer brush itself is very thick it's not flexible that's not an issue for me because I don't really care but I know some people prefer a brush that is smaller and more flexible so they can get into their eyes or whatever the case may be so the brush is very 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 thick and you'll see that in my um, first impressions demo video the concealer itself is also not matte it gives you more of a satin finish um, you do you may also need to use powder as well um, it's not quite as shiny as the stick foundation it is more of a like a wet product like a pretty much like a basic concealer this gives you more of a satin finish which I like I don't want everything to my eyes and my forehead to be super dried out so I do like the consistency of the concealer like I just mentioned you may need to set this concealer with powder because I am noticing like I have a little bit of under eye creasing like the the concealer is settling into the lines under my eyes um, that may also be due to the foundation because I did put the foundation on first so I don't quite know if the concealer is going into my eyes or if it's just the foundation doing that and I also never really pay attention to like lines under my eyes I never really noticed them so this could be something that happens with other products as well but for me to notice it now I think it is the product that's doing that but that's something you'll learn with trial and error and from using the concealer with maybe a different foundation it may work differently but um, again I do really like the concealer itself and that's it that's my final thoughts and my experiences using the Juvia's Place stick foundation and their I am magic concealer if you have used any of their foundation or concealer products before leave a comment down below and let me know how they worked for you if you're interested go ahead and check out my first impressions video on my channel so you can see how I applied the foundation and the concealer to my face and that's pretty much it you guys be sure to subscribe to my channel to see more content from me and follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my face <laughs> on, a, on a daily basis <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram at XO Seth Bell and I will see you guys in the next video peace and love